आई एम डॉक्टर शर्जील एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई प्रेजेंटेड अ केस ऑफ प्रोलिफ्रेटिव डायबेटिक रेटिनोपैथी विद मिनिमल डायबेटिक मैकुलापैथी एंड टुडे आई एम शोइंग यू सिक्सटी इयर्स ओल्ड पेशेंट विद टाइप टू डायबिटीज विद पुअरली कंट्रोल डायबिटीज हिज एच बी एन ए वन सी इज एट पॉइंट नाइन एंड फास्टिंग शुगर इज वन फोर्टी he is non compliant taking on and off oral hypoglycemics he presented to me with gradual decrease of vision in both eyes his vision in the right eye is 636 and iop 14 mm of mercury and in the left eye is 624 partial with 16 mm of mercury iop on slit lamp examination bilateral early cortical diabetic cataracts with clear centers anterior which is showed liquefaction age related and patient vision was not improving with refraction then i went for fundoscopy fundoscopy is must in every diabetic patient irrespective of his vision whether his vision is 66 or better in last patient we got new vessels at the disc in this patient as you can see the area of attention is macula i am showing you left fundus first you can see area within the temporal arcades full of positive findings dot and blot hemorrhages at fovea small and large hard exudates forming incomplete circinate circular pattern around fovea view on indirect ophthalmoscopy is inverted so you are seeing superior arcade inferiorly and inferior arcade superiorly there is a frond of new vessels appearing superiorly in the video but actually at inferior temporal vessel so it's a clear cut picture of full blown diabetic maculopathy with pdr due to new vessels elsewhere when you find new vessels on the disc or anywhere else on fundus in diabetic patient it is called proliferative diabetic retinopathy now in this patient even if you don't go for oct or you don't have facility of oct it is a clinically evident a very clear that the vision is decreased due to diabetic macular edema and you may and you need to treat the macular edema urgently with monthly anti vegf plus perform laser photocoagulation to treat pdr in the right eye, in the left eye and follow the patient regularly until fundus becomes clear of new vessels hard exudates splot hemorrhages and oct shows central macular thickness within the normal range and vision improves as well you can see that the area outside the vascular arcades is totally clear and now you can see the right eye fundus as well now it is a carbon copy of the left fundus the same diabetic maculopathy with dot blot hemorrhages more large confluent hard exudates irregular circinate pattern of exudates plus vision is more decreased in this eye because of that one large hard exudate directly at the fovea now there is also no doubt that maculopathy is significant and is the cause of decreased vision oct will tell you how much exactly C cmt is now from exam point of view if you get similar patient you should classify it into no macular edema central involving macular edema or macular edema not involving the center according to international classification of diabetic retinopathy or if you are asked about the etdrs then you will say clinically significant macular edema in this patient now again treat it according to the latest guidelines and which says that central diabetic macular edema with vision loss less than 69 or 20 by 30 as is this case you should go for monthly anti vegf injections ranibizumab bevacizumab or afli percept they have almost equal Uh, effect uh, till diabetic uh, maculopathy improves clinically on oct thickness improves and vision also becomes 66 and if vision is better than 69 or 20 by 30 with centrally involved diabetic macular edema then close observation and follow up with anti vegf treatment only for worsening of the diabetic macular edema in a compliant patient if the patient is not compliant or came from very far and couldn't um, 
do follow up another choice is anti vegf injection and third is focal laser with anti vegf now last scenario in exam can be diabetic macroedema without centrally involved involvement there are two options either we may observe until there is progression to the central involvement or consider focal laser to the leaking aneurysms if uh, thickening is threatening the fovea now how you look at leaking aneurysm well either it will be surrounded by the sarcinate heart exudate or you can pinpoint leakage on the ffa so that was all about the diabetic macular edema in detail i hope after watching this video diabetic macular edema will be easy to diagnose and treat in the end if you get benefited by my practical videos don't forget to pray for the visual recovery of uh, all the patient in my videos uh, not only in this video but uh, all the real life patients uh, in my videos um, so if you like my videos uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel at the end and also you can post your queries and questions about my color edema in comments thank you